All right, man. Welcome back to another reaction. Uh, today we got idiots in cars. Uh, like always, let's not waste any time. Just get right into this one, man. <laughs> We've all witnessed some questionable driving on the road, but sometimes yeah. we see some unbelievable driving mishaps that make us wonder what were they thinking. A man in Miami perhaps took the Stingray part of his Corvette Stingray model a little too seriously. <laughs> On another note, you might not want to buy a used black Corvette from Florida. Homie, no shot. He just actually drove through that. Florida. This driver got a well-deserved 500 euro fine when he didn't move out of the way for a fire truck. And his excuse was that his music was too loud. Bro. Homie. What are you doing? <laughs> the awareness During is at a negative level. During a controlling board meeting to level. pass some important budgetary bills for the state of Ohio, the state senator's video looked particularly weird on the Zoom call. And well, it became clear that he was using a virtual background of his home office to conceal the fact that he was driving. And well, who doesn't wear- Wait, dude, you can see the seatbelt, bruh! <laughs> you can see the seatbelt! <laughs> what, what the fuck? <laughs> like- Nobody noticed the seatbelt right there, bro. What the, the hell? fact that he was driving. And well, who doesn't wear a seatbelt at home? True. When the police blocked off the road due to an accident, someone tried to drive through anyway. And that's when they learned an expensive lesson. Oh! Thankfully, no one was injured. But Damn, this man sir. somehow did not realize that his falcon wing door was open, causing it. It's called a falcon wing door? What the fuck? Dude, I always get, like, I always get so distracted by the thing that's not the main part of the video. Like, this is called a falcon wing door. What the fuck? How did we come up with that? An $8,000 mistake. Oh! At a red light, a cor- Oh my god! Corvette owner realized there was a police officer nearby and decided to attempt insurance fraud by backing up his Corvette into a bike. Little did he know the biker was recording. I got you on tape, you fucking bozo. Even though it's morally wrong and against the law, some people try tailgating an ambulance to skip traffic and what? take advantage of the emergency vehicle's right-of-way. A good Samaritan risked his $150,000 Porsche to stop a Mercedes from trying to chase the ambulance. Bro, what? Yeah, fuck out of here, bitch ass. Oh! You fuck? Streets in which companies can drive commercial vehicles are severely restricted. Dude, this car is already been through hell. Streets. Let's just talk about how fucked up this car is already. In bro. which companies can drive. Like, look at the side commercial of the car. Commercial vehicles are severely restricted in NYC due to narrow roads. When a trucker was pressured in making deliveries on time, he made the wrong decision of trying to fit a massive truck in a residential street, completely scratching a parked vehicle. I mean, the car's already destroyed. This isn't the first time it's happened. This is literally not the first time it's happened. Look at the top of the car, bro. They're the same thing. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, what Even though the buggy fuck? wheels are usually used what by the, the Amish, fuck is this, this man put them in a Hellcat. That is not when an older woman claimed <laughs> that the man on the red pickup truck hit her car, her insurance company contacted the gas station to get some CCTV footage to hopefully win the case. And well, they probably regretted asking for the footage. Ooh. Flash floods are unpredictable and can get especially bad in a low-lying area. Thankfully, this man's Toyota did not give up in the middle of the flood. Despite looking like he was driving in the middle of an ocean. Yeah, what in the actual fuck? Hell no, bro. The footage. Flash flood. That's dude. This this image right here, not being able to see, and then the water pouring in. Oh, that's horrifying, bro. That's so horrifying. And can get especially bad in a low-lying area. Thankfully, this man's Toyota did not give up in the middle of the flood. Despite looking like he was driving in the middle of an ocean. That's absolutely horrifying, bro. Holy shit. Oh, hell no, dude. What at first looked like bikes racing ended up being Fuck bikes that. escaping. For... 
The red car drivers. Bro, Monka S. I wonder if those guys on the bikes even know. They probably don't know at all, huh? Quick reactions prevented a collision with a Tesla that was crossing the double line in an attempt to bypass traffic. Uh, you are such a fucking dumbass, bro. What are you doing going around a corner trying to pass some people? Like, what are you doing, bro? Some people are so fucking stupid, dude. Oh, my God. There's a reason why the lines are like... You know what I'm Crossing saying? the double line in an attempt to bypass traffic. What are you doing, bro? You were so dumb. On the Ohio turn. No, hey, don't fucking. Uh, hey, really, bro? This fucking guy. This guy has the nerve. Look. Hey. On the Ohio like, turn. You, 30 to 40 bitch. vehicles got hit with a wall of slush when a snow removal vehicle pushed the snow off the road onto the other side of the highway. Oh my god. Some people assume that gas won't Monkus. overflow the tank and will automatically stop. But this is only the case to have the auto shut off nozzle locked in. When a man tried You're to so, bypass so paying dumb. the tolls by tailgating a toll payer, he didn't expect for the man he was trying to take advantage of to make a 200 IQ play. Oh, he locked the thing. He locked the thing on the fucking car's wheels. I guarantee you that's what happened. Yeah. There's a saying that goes. Wait, what? I'm so con. I'm not even gonna go back because that video just confused me. I don't know what happened. It's a bad driver never misses their turn. Thankfully, a driver's dash cam saved him from an expensive repair. That is. Even though You're double so bagging dumb. your groceries might help preventing things from falling out, when it comes to carrying liquids, things are different. This shopper will have a hard time getting the smell out of her car. Dude. What the fuck are you doing? Some people are just so... This isn't even idiots in cars. This is just idiots caught on camera. Like, what are you doing, bruh? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I can't wait to watch this burst, bruh, please. A lot of companies have policies to uh, not pass someone with the bust. same company name on the trailer. Because when things like this happen, it gets a lot of bad PR. Maybe the driver should have opened his passenger door to assert dominance, but a nitwit used a surprisingly innovative strategy to cut in line by using her door. I hate you so I hate you so much. I, this person just doesn't deserve anything in life. Are you fucking kidding me? That's the most petty shit I've ever seen in my fucking use the door? Are you kidding me, bro? Using her door. Just because you're not good at like managing traffic and how to get over in time doesn't mean that you could just utilize this what is this this is this meta should be banned this is a meta that should be banned <clears throat> that's absolutely egregious bro. tesla drivers sometimes get a bad rep this man didn't help his case by not taking over autopilot and made people wait while the car corrected itself one second When a semi forced itself into another lane, he didn't realize it was the Ontario Police Cruiser. That's horrifying. Yeah, now your ass is got, son. Yeah, pull your bitch ass over, bruh. A group yeah. of bikers with no situational awareness decided to do a meetup in one of the busiest highways in Miami that happens to be the one you take to the airport, causing thousands of people to miss their flights. Hey, we outside, bro. I mean, what the fuck can you even do about that, bro? If there's that many people there, like, what can you even do? What do you even do about that? Go to El That's Miami International Airport right now. That's First Miami International. <laughs> yo, 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 the disrespect. He said, "Yeah, we outside. <laughs> we outside. Yeah. <laughs> we outside for real, yo." <laughs> <laughs> this person took the phrase right bumpers are meant to bump a little too literally. Okay. You're so dumb. Two Amazon workers show a prime example of why you should not try to pass your fellow co-worker 
when both of your vans are digitally speed limited to the same speed. Wait, what? They're digitally speed limited? That's horrifying. I don't like that at all. Why the fuck? Like, they should just... They should have something... Or just maybe have the guys be qualified and, like... Like, hey, don't fucking break the law. Like, add in, like, what do you mean? Speed limit? What the fuck? When both of your vans are digitally speed limited to the same speed. That's actually so funny, bro. Although I really don't like the the set. Like, what, we can't trust our Amazon drivers to do the speed limit? That's egregious, bro. <clears throat> Having snow obstructing your view is one of the leading causes of accidents during the winter, and yeah. one could easily see why. What are you doing? When a man's road rage <laughs> got to the point he got out of his car to intimidate the driver, he not only failed to put you the car- You forgot to put it in park, bruh! ...car in park, <laughs> but also didn't realize it happened to be an undercover cop. <laughs> After a car- So quick. <laughs> got to the point he got out of his Bitch, car I'll beat your motherfucking ass, son. He not only failed to put the car in park, like, I'll but beat also your didn't ass. realize Fuck it happened car. to be an undercover car. car. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> After a car ran a red light and somehow got <laughs> That's so funny. mad at the incoming car that was doing nothing wrong, a beautiful moment of instant karma ensued. This Lamborghini owner not only was using the bike lane in front of the police to skip traffic, but also completely miscalculated the car's turn radius. I don't understand. You are so dumb. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Bro <laughs> they were triggered. They were so mad. Oh my god. Are you serious? <laughs> oh no. This is not Oh, that's just that's just sadness, bruh. <laughs> During a hurricane in Florida, a McLaren P1 with a $2 million retail value was seen almost completely submerged in the streets after the owner decided not to move it, thinking his garage door would hold up. And well, the craziest part is that the insurance company listed the vehicle for $800,000 with a certificate of destruction for the car. What the fuck am I watching? Bro. According to classic text, <laughs> What the fuck was that? <laughs> Rome was founded 2,773 years ago. So it goes without saying some cities in Italy took shape a long time ago, before cars were a thing. This Ferrari owner tried to squish Dude. his new Ferrari Roma in Orta San Giulio in Italy. What are you doing? A man some, some people are just too rich for their own good, bro. Like, I can fucking squeeze through this, bro. It's like, no, you can't. Stop. Had his truck lifted so high that he couldn't see a Porsche right in front of him. Yo, what the hell? Truck lifted so <laughs> Lamau? Lamau? high that he couldn't see a Porsche right in front of him. But okay, guys, thank you so much for watching, and thanks for 1 million subs. But thanks, Elliot, for having the voiceover. Thank you, Elliot. Big shout out to Elliot, man. Dude, that was a great video, like always. Yo, hey, if you haven't subscribed to uh, to QPub01, make sure to go do that, yeah? Goddamn, man. Goddamn. What an absolute motherfucking banger, like always, bro. <clears throat>